ABC, welcome. Well, I've got another one lined up today, and it's going to be 45s. And my last couple of videos I posted were on 45s, and the reaction that I got was very nice. I was very surprised at it, actually. In the past, I've posted some 45 videos, and the reaction was lukewarm at best. But this time around, um, lots of nice feedback. I got plenty of thumbs up and uh, lots of views. So I was very happy about that. So maybe the VC is changing their ways a little bit when it comes to singles. That would be nice. Uh, I know between me and Randy, we do our part. And uh, I was surprised to even see Zeke the Vinyl Geek break out a bunch of 45s, which was cool. So uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed seeing them. And I've got some more today. And the stuff out of my collection, it's all Arizona. Uh, Phoenix area 45s, local and national. Uh, you know, so starting about the mid 50s up to about 1972, Phoenix had a vital music scene here locally for such a small area. I mean, it's grown a lot since then, but back then, we were still relatively a small city. And uh, the talent that we had was pretty amazing. A lot of great records came out of this area during those times during that time and uh, then about the mid 70s it just kind of dried up a little bit um, there was still some records coming out but not like it was and then when the whole new wave punk thing kicked in that kind of kick started the whole scene again and, uh, and it's still growing, going strong today uh, a lot of bands are around here and they're putting out music and vinyl and CDs so it's uh, yeah just during that sort of mid-70s uh, there was just a slump in the scene here for some reason but uh, anyway uh, let's uh, check out these singles that I have lined up today and uh, again I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching and uh, keeping the vinyl 45 RPM alive thank you alright we're gonna get going with the 45's I've got lined up for today and we'll start off with a Tucson band. Released a couple of singles on Columbia in 66-67. Uh, the Dearly Beloved, although on this first record they're credited as the Dearly Beloveds. And uh, Columbia picked this up from an earlier release, a uh, local release on Tucson, uh, Tucson label called Boyd. And uh, this is their second and final 45 on Columbia. And I have a uh, white label promo copy of that one. Yeah, their career was cut short as uh, the lead singer was killed in an auto accident. Uh, this is the first release by the Bittersweets. Um, summer of uh, 66 this was released. Now in an earlier video I stated this was released in 65, that was an error, it was actually summer of 66. Probably uh, 500 copies made of this one. And uh, on this one they're credited as a Bitter Sweets. And then on this one The Bitter Sweets, and Bitter Sweets is one word. Uh, this is their second 45 that was released just maybe three months later after that previous one. And it's Road to Ran. And then they put the uh, the A side, I believe, of the other single is the B side. I guess they only had one song. And then uh, Original Sound picked them up in 1967 and put out this fine garage cut in the night another chance on the flip and uh, the bittersweets would eventually become 20th century zoo now it's interesting they have 20th here on the 45 whereas on the album 20th is actually spelled out in letters uh, this was their first 45 on vault rainbow Bullfrog, 1968. 
Uh, this is the Hobbit. I've showed this before. This is on tube. Uh, top of the morning. The spaniel was originally known as the henchman. Um, some material has been released by them, but back in the day they didn't release anything under that name. And this is uh, the second one. This is a promo copy. Uh, Lloyd Klingman was their producer and record owner. And uh, this is all handwritten in his handwriting. And let's give this one a little listen. This next one I've never shown, and it's uh, Phil and the Frantics. Uh, I Must Run. They were very popular here in Phoenix in the mid 60s. And uh, the flip side is Pain. Now, this is the original release of this 45. It was uh, shortly after this initial pressing was sold out on Rabbit. A few months later, it was uh, reissued again on a different label with a different b-side so the only way you can get this song is on this 45 or if you get the uh, Vox compilation that came out in the 80s uh, this is a, a Chicano rock band from 1966 uh, El Mosquito They only had a couple of records, and this is their first one. And the original pressings are on the red label. And this is the second pressing on the orange label. Same songs. Both instrumentals. Uh, this is a, a band, a psych band, psych, psych garage band, the Violet Wing. They do a cover version of Hey Joe. It's on the Sound Gems label. These are pretty rare. Probably 500 made. And then the record that came out right after that on Sound Gems was this one. This is a white label promo. Flying Circus. They do a cover version of You Really Got Me by the Kinks. This is Stackery Rock. This is the first 45 from 1967. And uh, this was actually the first pressing on the purple label. It was later reissued. And I read on line 72 of the black label. Seems kind of odd. But uh, I don't know. That was about the time the, the tubes or the beans. Tubes, beans were real popular. Maybe they were trying to capitalize on uh, Vince Welnick who was in this band he was a keyboard player that later went on to uh, the tubes and then later he played with the Grateful Dead in the 80s this is pretty killer let's give this one a listen
right, this next one is the second Thackeray Rock 45. Now, I only had two. This is Tobacco Road. And, uh, can't you see? And I guess this was done after the band had broken up a little bit, then reformed with uh, a couple of new members. And this one is, uh, 68. And then, this one is not very well known. This is actually uh, associated with the Thackeray Rock in some way. Uh, as it has uh, Thackeray Rock band members on the writing credits. And uh, I think this one came out in uh, 69, if I remember right. It has a blank picture sleeve on the back. And it's on the ECI label. And the songs are Feeling Glad. And uh, Missed You So. This is uh, pretty, pretty obscure, so let me put this one on for you guys. <laughs> 